What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we are doing another Hidden Fates opening. We have one of the Ultra Ball collection boxes. Um, 10 packs, just an okay promo, a ball that I'm not sure what to do with anymore. But the real reason I want to do this video, or another reason, is I want to get some feedback from you guys about whether or not it is worth it to invest in a green screen for the channel for videos and streams like that so i just want to ramble off a couple questions and see if there's any feedback anyone anyone that has any experience with that uh but uh let's get into this first and we'll get in more details once we start opening some packs okay so we did get the box open here is a metagross a underwhelming card and then a code card for said metagross so here's what i'm thinking about the green screen thing 10 packs is I'm always trying to think about all right how can we improve the, the quality of the content we put on the channel and um you know just kind of like infrastructure kind of things is one thing that comes to mind every once in a while and as far as that goes we did buy a light that i still don't really know what the appropriate angle is but i think it helps for the opening kind of like the lighting for the phone just so that i don't know sometimes there's like shadows and stuff so i do think that's improved and we did find a pretty cheap light for like $20 on Amazon and I thought you know what something that a lot of Poketubers use is a green screen for the face cam um, and you know I always thought that was kind of unnecessary Ooh, we do have a shiny right off the bat a Kartana because what does it really accomplish I guess you know we could get rid of the background you don't have to see my apartment I don't, know, don't think my apartment's that ugly <laughs> but I uh, do think it it could potentially add some value so I guess my first question is whether or not anyone actually thinks that adds any value maybe it detracts I have no idea I'm curious what your thoughts are and then if if it is a good idea or if there is some value to be had or it is in any way an improvement uh, doing a quick search on Amazon again there are many different green screen kits that you can buy ranging from like you know $10 to hundreds and the hundreds is definitely out of the question we're definitely looking for some kind of beginner set and okay we got another hit a Mewtwo GX so this uh, opening is going very well and then a hiker oh my gosh two packs three hits and we got a full art supporter hiker man number four or something the one we are looking for is fisherman not hiker but we will take it and it's pretty well centered too so very nice card so opening is going very well. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, my guess is that's one of those, it could be, it probably is one of those situations where you get what you pay for. Uh, so I'm not sure what the right sweet spot is. So anyone that has any experience with a green screen, I'm very curious if you have any tips, any advice on where to begin. Um, just reading through some Amazon listings it seems like what the cheaper you go sometimes the if there's like creases then they don't come out and that will affect the uh, efficacy of it and I imagine another big deal is how easy it is to uh, set up and tear down well I don't see myself doing that very often like I set up the light and still haven't taken it down but there will be situations where I will do that in fact I think I'm gonna have to do it later today and then back to you know getting the fabric or whatever um creases and stuff like that you know the more often you do that the higher chance of it something happened to it and then i don't know if there's any other things to know about for a green screen uh so yeah if you know anything about that definitely let me know in a comment down below i definitely appreciate any advice or tips oh dart tricks nice this is, uh, while we have one for our master set in our second set, <laughs> which we definitely won't be able to finish, but I think we can finish all the non-GX shinies. Dartrix is one of the ones that we needed. And all right, we got four hits already. Very, very good box so far. So those are my questions for you guys. Just looking for some feedback. So yeah, definitely let me know. All right, and I guess I could use it for stream. Like, obviously, I stream at the computer, so I would need to move it around uh, as long as it's not too, you know. Actually, no, that would be fine. Brock's training is. Ooh, we got something else again. 
No, that was just a little bit of foiling from the Brock. And then it's just a reverse Snorlax. So if you guys do enjoy this video, definitely do me a favor and hit the like button. And if you're not already sub, hit that sub button. It is totally free and it really does help the channel grow. And I would really appreciate that. And all right, we are at the halfway mark. Five packs remaining. We already got four hits. Let's just get two more and we can call this a very successful opening. And let's go for a shiny GX. We already got our full art supporter. Oh, ooh. Got plenty of electrodes. We're good on the electrodes. Uh, I bet there's a Vaporeon somewhere in here. Gold card would probably be greedy, but we'll take one of those as well, I suppose. So, update on our master set. I think we're looking around eight or nine cards remaining. Shoutouts to EMC and Garfield who uh, sent us some packages and got us some steps closer to that master set. That will be an amazing day when we finish that, even if we end up just purchasing the cards. Alright, we have an Arbuck and a Swablu. Very cute. I like it anytime that the shiny is just... It's a golden a golden version of it. And that, that is our fifth hit, so... Now we're in bonus territory. We hit our 50% hit ratio. Everything on here is just piling on to our success for this box opening. And uh, last video we opened up one of the not super premium but medium premium boxes that features the uh, gold Soul Galeo, Lunala, and shiny Rayquaza. And we're talking about how at first I was kind of overly critical of that product saying it wasn't a very good product and I think that was just comparing it to the super packed one and uh, thinking about it more like if I compare these two I think I'd go out I would say that that one is actually better of the two and the box that we just happened to open was amazing we got so many hits out of that if you haven't seen it I definitely recommend you do check out that video but uh yeah, if, when I go through the products, you know, all the Hidden Fates stuff, uh, this, just because it's a Metagross promo, like that one, this one kind of falls short. I would kind of like keep it in line. Ooh, Giovanni Full Art. That card just looks so good. I wish, um, so Jesse and James do have their place in a lot of like, kind of like control style decks, but they don't really play. But this Giovanni looks amazing. I wish there were more ways to use him, or at least I'm not aware of many, or at least I haven't used him. But that card just looks amazing. Alright, last pack. So yeah, let me know if you have any knowledge, any wisdom when it comes to green screens. Uh, if you happen to be, you know, a fellow PokeTuber and you use one, let me know. Do you like it? Do you, uh, do you feel like it adds value? And um, yeah, looking for any information slash advice. So thank you very much. Alright, for our last pack, we have Charmander. Psyduck, Magikarp, Staryu, Mew is our rare slots. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor, hit that like button. Uh, and uh, if you're not already sub, hit that sub button. Um, I think that's it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'm Wanda Turtle. Ooh, a reverse energy. Not bad. Very good opening. And uh, so that's it for me today. Thanks for watching. I'm Wanda Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.